Tamar's boyfriend David speaks out on Tamar Braxton's situation. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. So this was on Thursday, so this is when he spoke out about it. And he offered an update on Tamar um, one week after she was hospitalized. Uh, he basically told a blast that uh, she's getting the best medical attention to straighten her mental health. And he also told a blast on the behalf of Tamar Braxton. I want to thank her fans and the public for the ongoing thoughts and prayers. Tamar is a beautifully talented woman, a devoted mother, a loving girlfriend, a dear sister, and a special friend to countless people. This is an extremely difficult time for Tamar and her family as she navigates professional and personal struggles, including her battle with depression. Tamar is currently receiving the best available medical attention to address those struggles and straighten her mental health, and her family and I will remain by her side throughout her statement. Mental health is a common issue affecting one in five Americans. Please continue to send prayers and hope as Tamar continues the path to recovery and ultimate happiness. We ask to please respect Tamar's privacy and her family's privacy during this important time of healing. And a lot of people, especially the Tamar Braxton family, uh, at least the word on the street is they don't like <laughs> the boyfriend because... He did have, um, he got a little bit personal with the whole 911 caller, you know, um, cause saying that, you know, she shouldn't full work for the network. He's, you know, this is that network's fault. Speaking of WeTV, who she's contractually obligated to, and she didn't like the fact that they uh, made her appear some sort of way on TV and she didn't, she didn't, she didn't want that at all. So here's my thing. Um, I think he means well. He's Nigerian. Uh, you know, he's from Nigeria. And when you're from Nigeria, the family is very conservative. They're very traditional. But look, David, if you want to make statements like this, you got to be a husband, not a boyfriend. And this is where I think he's overcrossing his boundaries. He's making statements as if he's her uh, PR professional and he's doing too much. Like he's literally doing too much. And I'm sure he means well. And I'm sure he, um, you know, he wants Tamar to be better and so on and so forth. But, like, if you want to make those statements, put a ring on it. Like, stop being stop being too much into the whole spotlight celebrity stuff. And I know y'all working together now on, on and you, you appeared on the reality shows and so on and so forth. But you are not her, y'all not married. Like, come on now, y'all aren't married at all. And like I said, if you want to make these type of statements to the media for Tamar, you have to be her husband. That's just how I feel. And I also blame the family because the family has their own issues. They're not as tight knit. And he's making statements for the family, clearly. So this also tells me the, the barrier that Tamar has with her sisters and with her mother and with her father. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yeah.